Ladies and gentle steppers, welcome to another report of the Seasonal Guild Leaderboard, where we track the top 25 guilds for each season, broken out into five different tiers. This wonderful and beautiful dashboard that we'll present all of our information was created by Yomu, co-developer of Idle MMO, game admin of Simple MMO, wonderful the man, man of our hearts, the man, the man of our hearts, <laughs> the man of our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, walking all the time and hitting the gym. Uh, so if you see him around, wave to him. Say thank you so much, Yomu. Thank you for supporting Couch Cat, and we really appreciate him. Oh, and he has his own <laughs> Simple MMO uh, third-party app, which you could just have chat open up by itself, or have it's basically a mobile simulator on your desktop if you'd like. Uh, and you can support him through his Patreon uh, or his uh, Buy Me a Coffee. I can't remember which one it is, but yeah. All right, without further ado, let's hop right in. All right. Okie dokie. Whoopsies. Uh, I was prepping. Oh, we're in my favorite tier already. Uh, screw that tier, <laughs> am I right? It's all about the celestial tier. <laughs> Worthless. Uh, celestial tiers are one through five place positions. First place, TSL. Second, factory reset. Third, friendly. Fourth, Wolfblood is actually moving on up. And fifth... We have DPS moving down one, but still holding into the Celestial tier. So good on them. Yeah. Yeah, Wolfblood regaining their posture and their position. Good to see DPS came in hot for number four. Uh, knocking Wolfblood down, but now Wolfblood's back in number four. But this is a very close race. Um, and just looking at earned real quick, you know, not even a mil difference here between the two. So uh, it's going to be shaky. We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, yeah. I'm there. Dagon has no need to worry. Uh, Theorem left us for Sanctuary, so now that the dead weight's gone, um, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to be number three. <laughs> okay. okay, let's go to the next tier. Okay. Let's go to the next tier. Everyone, Theorem, do not say, let's go do to not say anything. Tier. Do not, re do not respond. <laughs> legendary tier, a sixth through tenth place positions. <laughs> we have the Forest in sixth, Sanctuary in seventh, Prosser in eighth, Shadow Garden in ninth, and Still Friendly two in tenth. And absolutely no movement in this tier, which is interesting because normally you see some type of movement in Legendary, um, but not this time. They're like the Celestial tier. Yeah, there's really nothing going on here, and a lot of the bottom half of Legendary are earning next to nothing. But can you show earned real quick? Uh, I do want to note here that Sanctuary is earning the wow. most EXP out of this tier. Wow. Uh, so everyone's got their credit card katanas out, and they will probably... They will probably threaten Celestial Tier if they stay on this trajectory. Absolutely. Because um, they're literally just making up for not being, you know, they were in a guild at the start of the season. Mm -hmm. So this is where it's just coming into play. And then, I mean, we've seen the force get overtaken before. Um, so yeah, yeah. see what happens. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, now they have, now they have Theron. So I don't know, man. He's like, he's just like a wave. <laughs> Theron's going to come slap you. He's around All my right. ankle. He's just dragging me down. <laughs> All right, epic tier, 11 through 15. The Unknown is a hella good PvE guild uh, that's showing up. They've moved up three positions into 11th place. Heaven and Hell holding on to 12th place. The Knights of Say Yi dropping down two positions in the 13th place. DGK moving up two positions, which means Resolve is also going down two positions. So quite some movement here. I'm really impressed by the Unknown. Uh, they are truly the Unknown, and they are PvE. Uh, but yeah, good on them. Yeah, the unknown. I still don't really know who's in this guild. I yeah. saw them talking in Global one day, and uh, they're wacky. But yeah, I mean, it's good to see another PvE guild. DPS is generally the one who's been holding it up for so long. Uh, like the PvE banner in the higher tier. So good on them. They are, again, relatively new. Making a name for themselves. Good to see. Heaven and Hell is holding strong. Um, again, though, like, earned EXP has like, been very little so far this season i mean look at this this is like usually uh like the bottom half of yeah. epic the kind of i mean barely two mil on some of these guilds uh but i would say most of these guilds here are stabilizing and this is maybe their output for now uh the only ones who are making giant gains here even though uh, i mean it's con it's considerably large is dgk so demos guild uh so on my screen i opened up after crazy fi DGK right now is number 13. So they've actually moved three positions forward, pushing Yi even further down. 
Um, so yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, good on them. They're I mean, them was a yapper, okay? We all know he's trying to like act hard in front of everyone, but he's got like a, a you know, a squishy interior, okay? He just wants to he just wants to hang with the friends. Unfortunately, uh, and, there's just bad news for them on the WGS as well. Uh, you can find out at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Okay. EST, 7 p.m. CST. Well, in this one moment, he's doing okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lucas, All right. dude, hold on. Lucas in chat, so true, dude. So true. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the elite tier, 16 through 20 place positions. We got some movement again. Murderers of the Universe getting dropped down into the elite tier in 16th. Italia holding on to that 17th place spot. Asgard showing life, moving up one position. Good on them. Frontier, they've dropped because of that into the 19th place. So close together. And then Zelth Zenith Kitties moving up one position in the 20th place, breaking into the elite tier. Good job by them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so I I just want to say I never thought Mercy of the Universe would fall this far. Uh, we've never seen them fall this far. So they usually fall and then they climb, but this is the farthest they've gone. Italia, very stable here. Asgard finally waking up. Jason has been away for a long time mm -hmm. and it's, it's paid, he's paid the price because Asgard was a, you know, a huge contender for the higher tiers. And now look at them. So yeah. Yeah. I actually don't know. I had to talk to Jason, like if any of his core are still there, I don't know the internal mm. state of Asgard. Just right. that Jason talks to us about it. Uh, Frontier drops because of Asgard's gain. That's not an issue. That's just going to happen. And ZZK pushing into the top 20. So congrats to ZZK for doing so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the rare tier, the last tier, the trash tier. 21 through 25. Uh, 21st place position. Helheim has dropped down into the rare tier. Um, Black Dragon has moved up one position in 22nd place. Brazil Grind has moved up one into the 23rd place, which means Living Death Steppers have moved down two positions, who were known as Last Damn Sushi for a little bit. And then finally, Golden Arrows, holding on to that 25th place, being that gatekeeper for the top 25. Uh, should be interesting to see over the next few weeks if they move up, move down, or is it, they stay steady. So again, completely different on my screen. Oh boy. Uh, it's almost all green besides Helheim dropping down to 21. So just uh, probably 30 minutes after this, mm -hmm. uh, we have Black Dragon um, up one position. That's the same. Mm -hmm. We have Brazil Grind right behind them at 23. That's the same. But for 24, we have Golden Arrows moving up. Oh, and nice. then Alpha and Omega moving two positions forward, completely knocking out LDS. So Dang. that just happened. That literally just happened. And Dang. Alpha and Omega was showing like no signs of life yeah. in tier two for a little bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there, there you go. L L LDS critical, uh, took critical damage. <laughs> so, I sure did. My sushi friends. <laughs> Beastie. All right. All right. It's time for Pison's favorite tier here. I love this tier. It's where I belong. <laughs> and now we're in tier two. This is the tier two tier. <laughs> this is the tier two tier. This is a tier two system where we cover 26 through 35. These are the hopefuls is what we dub them. Uh, guilds who are continuously, you know, slugging it out to get a chance to breach into the top 25 within the SGL. Um, and we have a lot of tier two alumni uh, moving into the SGL. I mean, Asgard, etc. cetera. So uh, we're just going to quickly go over this. Now, as I mentioned, my screen's a little different. So things mm -hmm. look slightly tweaked. Uh, essentially, everything's the same besides Alpha Omega's, you know, up. Right. Uh, so, who else got knocked out? Um, well, I guess L did LDS get deleted, dude. Uh, I don't know. That would have happened like just now. Then, if it did, because they're not, they're yeah, not here. Finch is saying, I think LDS disappeared. Dude, you are freaking kidding me. Well, uh, that might he just, just said it's not there. So in real time. We have a guild deleted on. This is the first on SGL. Yeah, let me look. What the frick? In the game. They're gone. All right, so th yeah. this is why there's a bunch of green arrows on my screen. Oh, Do we know God. a player that was in LDS? Yeah, Beeski, right there. Beeski was in LDS. Or like, do we know um, a guild? Because they could have changed names. No, 
Beastie, are you guildless right now? Like, is your guild gone? Oh, yeah, if their guild is gone, yeah. It's not there. Yeah, and if <laughs> there's no new named guild showing up in 26 for you, then that means they're gone. Yeah, because yeah, 26 deleted. is slums. Yeah, and yeah, they got deleted. They're gone. Rest in peace, LDS. I was very shortly lived. Uh, one of the best names in, in the game. Kasu says, I guess that really that really was last damn sushi. Rest in peace. Okay. Um, so <laughs> Fincher saying we're there already. <laughs> we're in top 25. That's why we're not here. Peace key says the guild just got cooked in front of me. <laughs> All right, moving on. We, we gotta recompose ourselves here. So slums is at 26. Eternal flame is at 27. Uh, Wolf is at 28. Step and chill. So all these guilds got free moves ups, okay? So yeah. Step and Chill at 29. Uh, Dante's Inferno at 30. Telly Tubby's at 31. Black Heart, though, moving two positions forward um, at 32. Demon Lord's Army at 33. Rose Garden at 34. And 35 is Blazing Beast. So yeah, we're matched now. Um, yeah, that's just super unfortunate. Um, but that's here too. And. <laughs> Live on stream, uh, guild gets live deleted. Live on stream, guild gets deleted. Um, I guess the the guilds of note here are obviously Slum mm -hmm. and Welski's guild uh, EF. So uh, Rose those are Garden probably is actually brand new. Uh, this past super week. brand new, super brand new, like just created. And that's on the uh, WGS. Yep. Guess we're all chat. We're all watching it tonight in our beds. We're gonna be watching WGS to find out what the heck happened. Yeah. What's that say about everyone below? Like, they're, we always say this. It's like, what? What's that say about the rest of the guilds in this well, game? Well, I will say they are very unique. They they had 120 members within a week of what? being created. Yeah, yeah. How they're the, very are they like unique. Chinese bots? Like, what the hell? I don't know. I don't know. So either like their guild leader is known and just recruited a bunch of people real fast, or like, I don't know. I don't know what could it be. Okay. Well, that concludes the tier two system. Uh, and that concludes the SGL Crazy Five. If you want to lease out, yeah. And that's it for the SGL. Thanks for watching. Um, and uh, for all the Bod Squad that'll be watching it later on, we really appreciate you. Crazy guilds get deleted. I guess I don't know. <laughs> thank I know. you. Yeah, thank you, Bod Squad and Leia Rose at LDS's grave because uh, they gone.